Scorpio, welcome to the last part of Mr. Mercury Retrograde. actually have been attached to my hair without that yeah I was thinking what about going to Varanasi and get a real Aguri Baba dread attached to this one but then again we do look great as we are naturally so what I have to do now is to try and see if there's anything left or if I have to cut it even shorter. Sacrifice done for today. Actually, that was my hair. Okay, Scorpius, for real this time. <laughs> okay, for real this time. I really mean it. Welcome, Scorpius, to the Nordic Pirates. I am. Uh, what was the name again? I have so many names, but the Raven will be sufficient enough. Uh, so let's do what ravens do best <laughs> reading tarot cards um okay so the energies of scorpios damn i have all hair must be from the daddy side <laughs> okay up with the sleeves Mercury soon removing its ass away. Sorry, I, I think uh, this is uh, a little bit, you know, caffeine overdose. 
and slightly slightly in this like wow we are gonna go soon somewhere and it's not europe yeah although i know i know that barat i know that very well now i live there for about a year now i wonder scorpios are you making some major changes in your life, like colouring your hair red, cutting it short, turning a fat... Oh. Like... You know... You know... <coughs> okay, I don't know what this strange move is, but I think we need to call upon the mighty force of uh, Al Fader Odin, which is bullshit, really, but uh, you know, it's just a metaphor, really. Yeah, there is only one creator, and this creator has no, had no name. They used to, however, call him Bell, a bale, as in Bell. Can do this now now i know how to speed up the fucking video a little bit from the boring parts or the insane parts I can do what, what the fuck whatever i want yeah mm. now let's be extraordinary scorpios noticing any changes lately let's check your wow let's check your wow your ascen ascension ascension point I'll try to speak a little bit slower, make you a little bit more dizzy. Now, since we are, there's a lot of retrogrades and I like to think that of something positive because something is retrograde, something is also returning to you, something that you could have been losing a ring, losing an individual. But you guys, you feel me. You are on fire. You are ready to move on with something. High five, whoever you are out there. Yeah, I'll bet I'll get a uh, thousand new subscribers after this route. What do you think about this? Cancer in reverse in our sun position. I'd, I'd like to think of things very positive, believe it or not, although I love, I, we do look good in black, yeah? <clears throat> Reversed Cancerian energy placed in the sun, like as in, is that a bad thing or a good thing? Well, bad things and good things don't exist, that's something that is in the head. So, basically what I'm saying is that someone is going to leave their home. How do I know that? It could also be that there is a little bit tension in your family between you and someone else. There is tension. So wherever you are, if you plan to go somewhere else, you have my full blessing. Okay. Now the important thing is, is you f if you feel a little bit like, don't tell yourself that I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, everything's going to shit. Blah, blah, blah. Tell yourself that it's all right, everything's going to be all right. Three little birds and all that, you know. I'm calm and I'm excited because this reality, this space-time continuum is going to change. The moon matrix will take you somewhere else. So, in your moon placement, you have the moon following up, you know, followed from the Cancer moon, which is also moon moon energy. So, we are in this drift now. We want to do this, we want to do this. And yet, there is something here that's holding you a little bit like. Mm. 
There are certain things that are practical that needs to be done. Whatever change we are doing now, Scorpio, we need to have a little bit more earth in this read. Yeah. Now, where do you want to go with me now? Um, what is the struggle? Oh. Yeah. The devil worshipping cards. Can you believe in that nonsense? Devil worshipping. What the fuck is that? Study the ancient Sumerian texts. Study them. You'll find out what the devil really is. Sometimes I really wonder if this job is really for me because I have this dry scientific vibe to me that really does not belong within the occult. Yeah, for some reason I see this as pure logic. <laughs> I mean, if Pythagoras and, and all these ancient philosophers and scientists was into this shit, why can't we be into this shit, you know? So it's all about energies and synchronicities and things fitting into each other. Have you never noticed that sometimes things are synchronized? It's a kind of magic. Just like in the casino. I don't want to see your face. What is Scorpio hiding under the moon? Okay. Now this would be our uh, would be our uh, let's say Enlil to the Enki, the Ma to the Pa, the Yin to the Yang. <clears throat> Space up. Berit. Which is, uh, it's, well, it's portrayed as a demon. <laughs> that is also the name of my aunt in Oslo. I'll tell her that. Now, this demon, it does show us the dark aspects. This is the oppositions of all the Shem Ham Farash, the 72 names of God, which is all the angels that people tell us are good messages. They really have it. But yin and yang, that works. Yeah. Language, that works. We curse people, tell them to go to hell. They feel bad about it. And they feel bad about it all the way until you come to them and say, I'm sorry. I said it because I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's all magic. So the two, basically the two dark sides to the moon here, the dark side of the moon is basically here, Venus in Capricorn. And um, death, yeah, Scorpio, you're death, but so is Capricorn. They just don't know it yet because the planet that rules Capricorn is Saturn. And that is the god of flesh, that is Kali, that is everything dense that we can touch. It, has, it is our mother, it is the one that gives birth to the monad. What made me such an expert? Well, have you heard about books? And I am really old. Yeah? So what you see here, this hexagram here, this is a symbol for our mother, Kali. Or they like to think of this as old daddy, the Grim Reaper and all that shit. But this, if you draw a line around here, you will have a hexagon, which is on top of the planet Saturn, also known as Shaitan, the opposer. 
Something that is saturated is something that is dense. Does that make, is that ring any bell, as in bail? Sorry. It's just sometimes I really feel I have to repeat myself. And some people really need to, to hear that hell, Kali, all these things, is something that is dense. And when you're stuck in a negative mindset, you feel I'm in a prison, I'm in duality, this is yin and yang, it's either good or bad, and life sucks, and that's everyone else's fault. That is your personal hell, it's all in here. Venus and Capricorn, hidden. Someone here wants to change their life for the better and some of you wants to make a little bit dineros. I don't blame you at all. Now, card here says that just, just watch your steps a little bit. Because uh, money, 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 the concept of money, worthless paper, which is people think it is valuable, so it is valuable, but if you haven't integrated your shadow self, shadow self, shadow self, yeah, it can create, it can give a boost to your ego. Venus in Capricorn, in my experience, creates people who... I don't want to say anything. It's, it's, I've, I've said this before and people weren't happy about it, but I have... A lot of people with, I know a lot of people with Venus in Capricorn, yeah, and that is, you know, nothing is good enough for me unless it is Rolex, you know, unless it is uh, Gucci, but you don't, you don't show it off with a lot of bling like the Leo would. But, you know, I have real Kashmir and uh, I know people who are so powerful and because I know them. That is the dark aspect of this. Yeah. Now you know. Okay, now you know. That is the death here. So some of you, you know, on the good side. It can give you really explicit taste, like the royalty in England. Um, two of coins juggling with, wow, in my face. So Venus in the South Node placed, placed where? Yeah, that makes it better. House of Virgo. Uh, for some of you, it could be regarding your work. Uh, the South Node is our mochila, our package, the, the, the backpack, which is too heavy. And we've been dragging it around for a very long time. And when you open it, people will ask you, why do you carry around on that useless ship? And you say, well, I have this attachment to it. Because, well, I need to have it because, 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 you know. I know. I have two storages full of shit. And uh, I'm not really sure even what I have anymore. And yet, I'm still alive. I'm still alive uh, without all that shit. I have mine in Taurus, so I'm a hoarder. So for those of you who have seen my latest movie, I released Hair. Amateur movie, really good, isn't it? You'll see that I hoard certain things. And that's not really true backpacking, is it? So juggling with two of coins, with a really, really large baggage under the moon here. Ooh. Yep. What do you know? The raven got speechless. <laughs> the raven got speechless. Oh my god, you gotta watch American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Just 
speechless. Yeah, let's move on. What is it that Scorpio have in their mind? Great spirit. What's going through your mind? We just looked through a couple of things that, you know, I'm with you, I'm with you. I, I really, <laughs> really vibing with this read. Breathe. Okay. Areas in reverse. Some of you could be a little bit, you know, have the temper. You remember in one of my videos, a Viking trying to open a Spanish door? Mm. That is areas in reverse. That is like, uh, uh, you know, anyone have this feeling somewhere? Uh. <laughs> or maybe that's just a curse of being in Norwegian. I don't know. In Norway, we say, oh my God, that, that, he or she have the temper like a Turkish man person as the country, not the bird. They clearly have not met my mom and daddy. Capricorn, some of you wants to make money, you're up for the coins. And whatever you're up to, Scorpio, if someone is standing in your way now, Hmm. I'm not going to stand in your way. <clears throat> it comes to love. <laughs> you saw that one? And it comes to love. Okay. Uh, there's. <laughs> Fuck Scorpio. <laughs> Short reads, yeah, you can dream on, honey. Short reads. Okay. Someone's on your ass. They want a piece of Scorpio, but they can't get you. There is someone also who might try to contact you. There could be someone in your life. But you, you have this vulnerability that maybe you're a little bit too patient with certain kind of people. Now, remember what I just did. Cut them out. What the hell? <laughs> you know, if you feel you need to, you know, you have people around you and you feel like, uh, as you've been speaking to them, protect yourself. You're not, something here tells me that you need protection. I'm not talking about condoms, okay? <laughs> I sense that some of you need a little bit more discipline, maybe exercise. And yet again, you are working, some of you are working your answers off. It's just that it you really, you, you, we need this Virgo energy, which is, uh, which is here. You're working on things, Scorpio, but this is your values. This is your love. I see someone here again, which is everywhere now on most streets. There is this Leo, constant Leo disturbance. And I can tell I have more than one Leo in my life. And um, are they disturbing? Well, both ways. Some of them can go on your nerves. And some of them, when they leave your house, the sun is shining inside your house. That is Leo in a nutshell. <clears throat> this is interesting. Um, Scorpio, you need to protect yourself towards someone. It could be someone who 
they um, uh, there was someone here the other day I didn't read uh, on this individual um, anonymous of course and I saw that this individual is not only not protecting themselves they are accepting someone toxic into their life uh, but they, they are not setting the limits like Saturn would. Um, they blurry things out and accept the vibrations that people send, send in your direction. And so uh, I'm trying to shut my mouth when I see people are dragging in, you know, we are all the same. But some people choose to deconstruct themselves. That does not mean they're not involving. It's just that they are in a phase where they choose to destroy themselves. Yeah? And they will drag you with them. And so there's a need for protection here. And Saturn coming up twice here. You know that. You know that you need to get rid of certain toxic not just people but food and habits in your life and since this also is placed under the under the the influence of venus which is all about love goddess freya then you're aware of that someone that you could be in love with someone who could be in love with you oh we're talking about venus here Venus on, it seems like whoever is under the influence of Venus here likes to be on the bottom. And uh, the, the sun likes to be on the top. So whoever is influencing you, whoever there's, there is someone who I feel. Oh, this is so strange. This is so strange. This is just popping up like from the bottom, from the top. It's like what you see on the surface as above so below right so what is this what is this ah uh, let's just use the cat uh, after all it's the cat's prayer right so when venus joins forces with the sun you will deal with someone who are extremely attractive scorpio now that could be you, that could be you, or it could be also a weakness. I mean, it's everyone's weakness being under the influence of someone in your life who got sun conjunct Venus. They are charming, they are beautiful, they are kind. And on a dark day, they would be arrogant and they would be superficial, yeah? Mm, so some of you could have this in the in, in influence in your life. Just clarify that for me. Ooh. Oh, okay, so let's try the hair, the owl. Scorpio, <laughs> that's you. A white owl, here's Scorpio, what do you know? Are you the charm of Scorpio? I mean, I know a lot of Scorpios who have Venus transit, or you could have a progressive Venus going straight over your sun, your moon in Scorpio, whatever. I have a cluster there. So when Venus started to, to make a noise in my house you know i would be all like oh i love everything oh, it's just, a lot of love would come towards me but as it the, you know when you have the god of death and destruction in, in your house of love it's not really going to it's going to teach you a lesson it's going to make your ass all red Maybe even a colour in rainbows. 
Queen of Coin, another Capricorn energy. This is so beautiful, huh? Scorpio in love with Queen of Coin and its sun. The sun is shining. Love's in the air. I don't know. But this energy, wherever it is, it is in your life somewhere, okay? Oh, for some of you, it could be second house. So make sure. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Make sure. Anyway, uh, there's been someone sneaking around in your life. Seven of Swords here. It seems to me that you might, you know, get all cozy with someone, or it's like, let's make peace. Let's make peace. I'm so sorry. You know, it's this is a side story. It does not resonate with all of you, but the Sun and Venus together is too beautiful to ignore. So if you have that in your chart, Sun and Venus, the Sun will be a circle with a dot in the sign and Venus. You already know the sign of Venus, okay? And you can also check out your Venus sign. Scorpio and Queen of Coins. That is a match made in heaven if you want to make... If you want to build an empire, basically. Quite literally, actually. You do have Earth here, so you could be involved with an Earth sign. But it tells me that many of you, you want to bring this dream, you know, whatever it is, whatever dream it is that you have. Keep, you know, never stop dreaming. Never stop dreaming. Keep dreaming, you know. Because the dreams, if you sometimes you can taste them, you can feel them, and, and this is when you manifest. But there are I, I <laughs> there are a lot of people around us who are projecting their own fear onto you. They want you to fear the same thing as they do. And you know also that people who can't stand Stand you they can't stand you that is because you're extraordinary you are extraordinary and you're doing something extraordinary and some people don't they, they don't dare to take that step out into the unknown and you could have extraordinary gifts or things that you know how to do and uh, there are people, they will always follow the establishment, you know, what they've been taught in school to do. But a regular school, a regular school, as we know of it now, does not create entrepreneurs. The real entrepreneurs that we know of, they don't even have a proper academy degree. A degree, degree, academy degree, sorry. Yeah. Lucky, lucky, lucky you. There is some luck here. Connected to Earth. It's connected to Aquarian energy. So, for those of you who are going to, it could be that some of you will uh, meet people who would help you ground yourself a little bit. Maybe it would be your yoga instructor. Virgo, many of you are trying to be really logic about this right now because, you know, Scorpios, we are not, we are dreamers, we are, we, we are full of passion and when somebody are stepping over the line, we can be patient for a long time some of us can even be taken for being very blonde. Mm. Too bad for them. Too bad for them. Could 
It's just a color. Mm. And who wouldn't want to stand on the side with a snow goddess or a prince of the ice world Viking King? What? Hmm. Whatever skin color, hair color, wherever you are from. Well, I see people with really dark skin who carry themselves like kings and queens. I see beautiful, beautiful divine energies. Yeah. I could see someone from the East with that mysterious gaze that my mind could dream all the way to one of my favorite subjects, the Ninas. Yeah? So we have blonde jokes, we have this jokes, we have that jokes. Not too long ago, I heard a joke about blonde chicks. Guess who was truly blonde in the end? Yeah. Never underestimate people you're dealing with. <clears throat> do not do that. By the way, and a brunette. <laughs> and my birth name is Annette, so I rest my case. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. We already seen that Scorpio, you really are in action. Yeah? Keep going. Going for it. Earth again. So so aware of it although many of you i'm damn in love i don't believe in love anymore i hate men i hate women and yet here in the second house some of you we have taurus we have virgo many of you could have earth earth in your chart we even have a capricorn here and these energies are very sensual and she does not seem to be too occupied with work, does she? Now, when that is said, <clears throat> it is still Earth. We embrace Mother Earth. We treat her as our mother. No. <laughs> Also known as Ki or Ia. I like Ia, Ia, Ia. It's ancient Sumerian. Without her, we are nothing. I am the raven and I have been as in Virgo. So you better take a shower first. Mm -hmm. I am. Um, I am Mr. Taurus. I am very, very sensual. Touch me, hold me, kiss me, squeeze me. Yeah? And they can squeeze hard. I am Capricorn. I'm cold. But when I finally release that appetite saturn stick up my ass i am turning into palm i o palm i o palm yeah 
the god of yeah, you know vine fertility tree hugger okay <clears throat> Breathe. I feel I need to breathe. This this bail. <clears throat> I don't really I don't really know the extent of how much this really does because in the end okay sometimes you know if you are in a dirty room you clean it. But most of the things in here, it does happen though that filthy energies can attach itself to physical things, obviously. So what Karn, what Karn are we looking at today, Scorpio? Just did a Taurus read for you. Maybe you have Taurus in the chart. Actually, I didn't do it for you, I did it for Taurus, but <laughs> oh my, did it pop a lot of Scorpio up in that read. So if you're dealing with the Taurus, check it up. Check it up. There is this, this inevitable crazy attraction between Scorpios. Uh, Taurus and also Libra actually but uh, think a little bit about it you are ruled by Mars and these people are ruled by Venus you guys can't help it yeah Ooh. Oh, the hair. I'm shedding hair like a Norwegian forest cap these days. Yeah, literally, I just gotta <laughs> get over that. I lost my hippie side. Now I'm just hippie on the inside, not on the outside. That was a good memory of that, you know, living with pirates in the mountain. That's something to write a book about, isn't it? Romantic, crazy, a lot of tears, a lot of work, carry water, and living beside people with guns. Jack Sparrow. That is the wild raven tales. <clears throat> so what's going on with Scorpio right now? What's going on with Scorpio right now, Great Spirit? What's going on with Scorpios right now? Thank you. Ten of coins. That was pretty. Direct, and I was afraid checking my bank account <coughs> today. I'm, I'm, I think I'm in. You know, ten of coins. What do you know? There is abundance here. Give me a secondary, please. Oh, that's a lot. Give me a secondary, please. No much give me a secondary please give me a secondary please traveling uh, uh, the wanderer you know the pilgrim the, the wanderer the oof, come on focus focus great spirit show me the secondary card thank you great spirit Unfortunately, they're coming out in reverse, except this one. There is something silent here. Something silent. 
something we may talk about, something we do not. Let's see here. There is a um, very, very immature energy here. Fire sign who requires your attention. Caballo. Bastos. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energies, but fire sign. Yeah. Give me the attention, give me the attention, give me the attention. Someone wants your attention, Scorpio, and they can't get it because you're Scorpio. You don't waste your time on needy people. <clears throat> Confirmation again. Five. Leo. Someone has to let go. Four of coins. There is a Leo here that needs to let go. Or a fire sign. Someone you need to let go of. And they need to let go of you, okay? Okay. <laughs> this is this is a rough one. You can take it, Scorpio. <clears throat> in in this card, instead of swords, we have knives. Yeah, they're equally sharp and equally deadly. Um, so we have uh, someone here who wants to confront you and talk to you and they have a lot of shit in their language, you know. Scorpio, please talk to me, talk to me. Why, 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 why don't you do like I think you should do? You know, reversed. Mm. And what does Scorpio do? Silence. Ghost. Goodbye. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to change absolutely everything. I'm going to disturb the algorithms. I'm going to If there is a lover here, or someone who are, you know, this lover energy, you're moving away, you're silencing them down, that will make this skull hair grow beautiful flowers. You're giving it space to grow flowers, okay? Um, could be someone you know very well that you're letting go. Scorpio energies. Um, I feel that someone is trying to manifest you, but you won't have it. So you're, and, and like I said, you need to protect yourself towards some energies that are quite sharp. Yeah. Because uh, people who are walking outside their, their, the frames, uh, who are, you know, you're just you. <laughs> you carry yourself with pride, you know. A lot of people, they want, they want our necks, yeah? And, and that's okay. Because then you know that, okay, I'm actually walking outside the frame. But no matter what you do, you're living up to everyone's expectation, you will still have someone on your neck. You're happy anyway, because you have a beautiful bubble around you and that's keeping them away. But then you have to be a good girl slash boy and, you know, swipe your house, swipe the floors, everything. You can even change your language. You can stop being Swedish and to just change your name, change your profess profession, change everything. Feels good. I used to have hair, black, raven, 
Something that's very difficult for me though is to cut it short. Please, dear Lord, don't get me to that. Um, ooh, yes, we have. <laughs> very typical Scorpio thing. There are certain things, you know, I can change 90%, but those 10%, don't you dare touch them. You know, don't you touch them. <laughs> Another six here is victory. Yeah. Leo energy, Jupiter in Leo. So this is a victory for you to just change. Change, move away, get rid of toxic energies. Now the obstacle here, thank you, Lord, great Lord Spirit. And, um, ouch. Ouch. It might be so that there is a broken heart here. You could feel bad about it, Scorpio. Someone here is kind of in your way. Yeah? Three of Swords. Uh, but but Three of Swords is not always about romantic love. The, the grief can be absolutely anything. And you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say grief. It can be anything. Someone. It's not something. It is someone. Even a cat. You know. You can love a cat and a dog into the heavens more than you love a family member. That's okay. Love is love. And we are here to experience all kinds of love. Psycho love, weird love, lazy love, selfish love, selfless love, conditional love, and conditional love. It's just an experience. And Grief, well, it's poetry. <clears throat> okay, so let's just have a small peek into your path, Scorpio, because this read has just begun far way longer than I <laughs> planned. I tend to put my heart and soul in absolutely everything I love to do. No matter the costs. Yeah. So just enjoy it. Because we're really good at it, huh? Really good. Just look here. Fucking hell. <laughs> What's this? A parade you're showing me. Okay. You have a very rich past, okay? So someone wanted to commit. Same old, same old. They wanted to commit. And, uh, and, 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 and you know, the wounded warrior. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. You wounded me, you bitch, slash, cunt. No, I, I promised myself. <sighs> I blame it on Neil Gaiman, it's his fault. And then there was a clarity into the situation, you know? And uh, yeah, you know, you know? Uh, and uh, Nine of Swords here. You passed this, Scorpio. You passed these nightmares, these things that kept you awake at night. It could have been a fire sign in your life that were in and out and just drove you crazy, but you're way past that now. You're way over that Scorpio, so whatever, right? Whatever. Let's, let's let's give you something more colorful, okay? The mannerism. Okay, this is actually a man, mixture between mannerism and
and cards of the Illuminati. Is that possible to shovel? <laughs> oh, my darling cariño, Carlos, yo me necesito algo más bolsitos para esto. <laughs> At some point, those cheap boxes that you get from the terrible, you know, delivery, they, they are going to break down if you, if you really have your passion to this. Okay, feel good about that. And Luminati. I use these cards a lot lately. I, you know, I'm always about what's what's the latest stuff in, in the card field. So recently, you had to make a choice between what. Between what, Scorpio? Between love, between children, between work, uh, between your career, between your heart. No, 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 no. These ones. And and so recently, I mean, you've been in a hermit mode for a long time. You've been isolated for a while. You know, it's time to come out. So. You have to choose between well. Okay, this fire sign here. And uh, things not going too well. This is in reverse. Four of Wands, a celebration. Let's grow things together. Going nowhere. And yet, someone still in need of the attention. And while someone realizes that you know this is not going, this is not going anywhere. So I have the whole world in my hand. What to choose? What did you choose, Scorpio? I know what I chose. I know what I chose. I'm buying a ticket. I'm buying a ticket to to Hindustan. You know, <clears throat> now what was your choice? I'm curious, just let me have this, okay? What was the general choice? I know you're going to change something dramatically, either you want it or not. Kali is coming, spanking your ass. Oh, Luminati cards, okay. And I told you before, hitchhikers, we do not ignore them. So, you committed yourself to something, but that was not the individual in your life. Again, Capricorn, you basically are out in the cold. So, again, there are some traveling here. It does take a lot of strength. Yeah, there's still love here. But you're keeping this silent because you know that this ain't going nowhere. Six of Wands here. There's no victory here. You're bored of juggling. And uh, well, Six of Cups. This old love. Uh, you love, but it's not working out. It's not working out. So you've been very patient, you know. And when you sever these ties, wow heavy sentence that is your ten of coins that is when you will manifest your own wealth and you have this right here and you will be the one who gives not the one who have have to receive because you you're living in dubai on a budget yeah So there might be, you know, someone may could have come in with an offering. Could be some Virgo stuff going on here. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, eleven. You saw that. Oh. This there there is no fortune in this. This offer is not getting me anywhere. 
Yes, but what if I give you this offer? Passion, desire, creativity. Where did you go? Oh yeah, so basically that is your choice. You're choosing you. You're choosing you. And I would say that's certainly on time because this is lingering around in your 12th house, which is your subconscious. Okay, let's frankly up the outcome here. Do we have any? Mm, yeah, we have cats. We have cats. Bless Goddess Frey and Goddess Bast for the cats. Yeah. Mm. Libra energy. Again, love. Could be Libra love here. Libra slash Scorpio. <clears throat> Strong love. Leo energy, Libra energy. So, so when I say this, this is composition of the energies. It's not necessarily physical people who are, you know. Um, oh, that's cute. <clears throat> so in your surroundings, hope, yeah. Let's check your surroundings and let's tidy up this because we must do that. <laughs> I feel my cards are getting, you know, my reads are getting wilder and wilder. But truth to be told, they were a lot wilder before when I was traveling all the way to the Atlantean, the Lemurian period and stuff like that. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> there is a celebration. There's something for you to celebrate, Scorpio, and go for that. Okay? Focus on that celebration. Three people, two people, who gives a shit? Hmm. Okay. That's you, Scorpio. That's you. That's your tower moment. See, you have no choice. <laughs> Embrace it. You're going to land on your feet. You're a fucking cat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and see, he landed just fine. It's just slightly turbulent, isn't it? Yeah, you have your tower moment here. As I said, you, you, you need this because many of you are exactly right here, right now. I need to bend down for you, okay? You are here right now. It's a little bit too comfortable, yeah? But you know that there is this... I was expecting a knife, but... Okay. This, this works too. There is this energy here of... Move on. Believe it or not, this is the chariot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you move, you need to move away from someone you love and there's strong Leo energy here. It will be a form of grief, but I think that train already left. Okay. <clears throat> Something's under the moon again. Something's under the moon. Now, what's in your path right now? You know, you know there there is a clarity here that you need. You know, it could be a challenge. That. Hmm. 
am I independent enough to do this? I mean, this, this need of clarity, can I do this without, but, but the, you don't have any choice. The tower will fall of anyway, the, the Babel, you know, Tower of Babylon, it will fall every thousand year an empire fall just like we are witnessing now for those of you who are bothered to check out the media no offense media you really do make me happy when i'm looking in the newspaper but um there is a king here and he's a scorpion he's hiding behind the moon so i see you you know I'm taking this opportunity to avoid this. I'm going to try again. Yeah. I'm going for my victory chariot. Mm. <clears throat> it could be that a lot of people are not taking lightly upon your decisions. Eight of Wands in reverse. It could also be that you know you order that plane ticket or some news, something is uh, you know, you get that <clears throat> message on your phone. Oh, your plane will be delayed for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. Some of you are coming out of your hermit stage. Maybe you're going somewhere where you can actually be around people who are more like you. They're not afraid of this star. And it has nothing to do with Hebrew. You know, this is sacred geometry and these people, whoever they are, wherever you go, wherever, wherever you're changing, they will understand, you will vibe with these people. Because you are now throwing out people in your life that are just, you know, they are not for you anymore, you outgrow each other. And there's no need for resentment. That's just another rock to your baggage. It's past, it's past, there's nothing you can do about that. I'm not sure I believe my own eyes, but, but... What is this card? <laughs> it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. But it's very confusing. It's like, is it eight of cups? <laughs> Where's the cups? And, and, and it, it, it's a magician cat. I don't fucking care. Uh, this is just a very strange card. It's like a mixture of you you get your blessing. It's th this blessing. You see how this pure cat is white, purity, right? It's giving its blessing for this dog. And dogs are known to be, you know, I love my papa or mama no matter what they do to me. Loyalty. It's like the Empress is blessing someone. But she's got magical powers. This is Eight of Cups. I find it very strange. I believe this is temperance. I don't know. Now I'm just, whatever it is, it's beautiful. Okay. 
Uh, you also have Libra hair. There will be something, and you know, some something will be equalized here. I just love, love, love this card. I realized this year I have a small obsession for Egypt without really knowing it. So while we're at it, cool, huh? Now two of cups in reverse here. I've been one hour already. Eleven. So yeah, it could be a Libra here. So mate. Um, could be also Aquarius energy. Uh, but some of you are leaving someone behind you who are, you know, you care a lot about them, but it's no longer constructive and so you're you get going somewhere to get your healing you need to do that healing for yourself so many of you are now waiting for the ships to come in it could also be an airport or your bus station it could be someone waiting for you also because they know you're coming back or you're coming to somewhere someone maybe you know on social media for some time and say, you know, we've been talking for 10 years, now it's time I get to see you. Yeah? So let's see if the Raven have some small message, how constructed. Talent card mixed with crazy messages, okay? A few messages. <clears throat> If they're really awful, I won't read them. <laughs> this is going to be, yay, you read, okay. So it seems to me, we have page of coins here. Page of coins. Um, hmm. Leave soon. Danger in reverse, so leave. And you will live peacefully. There is this there is this message here. Love my all or love me not. Empathy or sympathy. Whatever you've done wrong, Scorpio, own up to it. Don't try to pretend that you never do anything wrong because then you will be just same as anyone else who are blaming anyone everyone else for the shit going on in this life of course there are people we are oh they trigger us these people are in many ways our masters so we can master our own triggering you know keep yourself calm whatever it takes clean your throat clean your water speak clear okay Be clear with your speech. If you're unclear, misunderstandings will come. And this is why the language we speak is constructive as it is, because it's exceptionally easy to manipulate language when you're speaking in poetry instead of just doing math. Yeah? You said this, which clearly is this. Yeah, but where I come from, this is that. But we can agree upon that two and two is four. Yeah. So this is Babel, the curse of the language. So if you feel that you're broke or things are a little bit shitty on our thing, you remember you are not broke. You are a broker. Yeah, I believe in you. There is a queen of cups here. And for some reason, I warn you about her, this, uh, this a mother figure, someone's mother, your mother, someone's mother. She's someone, you know, just look out and remember Scorpio, you're an eagle. Behind these cards. There is behind this card, but you didn't get it this was but it's behind it. Okay, so since we're talking about Leon, Lion, lion 
I'll bring that up another day. That's that that's far out. That's far out. <laughs> that's far out. That's <clears throat> okay. So we have the moon god here, Hawk Konsu. Also Egyptian god. I don't know if you watched the moon god and the sun god. They both have hawk heads. And so judgment day is upon you. And we are all going to judge you so hard, you know, it's going to be okay. Whatever other people are thinking about you is their business. What you think about you is the most important thing. Uh, and so what are only, the only thing I can say is whatever you love to do, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Another lion here, another lion here, they want to come in and tell you that, you know, yeah, completion, this is, this chapter is coming into a completion soon, beautiful, change, resting our cases, Scorpio, this is a cute lovely read, I hope I get to upload it today, and here you have a transformation. This is so cool, Scorpio. A little bit scary, but scary in a good way. Hmm. I think many of us have postponed this change for a long time. At, at some point, Maha, Mahaji, Ji, Ma, Kali, whatever, needs to kick our asses out. We need to be kicked out of that nest because you need to fall if you're going to learn how to fly, okay? Sending you a lucky rune. This is karma. Uh, cycle, one year, patience, yeva. So you're ending a cycle, Scorpio. Wonderful to have your energies here again. Remember, meditate, breathe, eat healthy, and be clear, okay? And be kind. Love you so much, Scorpio. Welcome back to the Pirates of the North.
Okay, Nordic Pirates. Yeah, that hurts. Oh my god, I don't have such a long compilation today. <laughs>